Hello, 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 everybody. This is Constance. This is Constance Nunn. This is the Domestic Violence Channel. It's also a relationship channel. I want to say hello to everybody out there who's been subscribed to my channel. Um, it's been, what, a week or so since I made a video? Well, today's title is God is Looking for Strong Men. God is looking for strong men, okay? In a relationship or in a marriage, God is looking for strong men, okay? And I want to speak again. This is a domestic violence channel, and this is also a relationship channel too. God is looking for strong men. God is looking for strong men to build a household, to build their home. God is looking for men who are building something for themselves, such as a career, a house. Uh, they have their own business. They have their own car. They have their own finances, investing. God is looking for strong men. God is not calling weak men. God is not calling weak men. Well, why you say that, Constance? Because he's not. God is not calling a man that beat on a woman. The domestic rate is going up higher and higher. Domestic violence is getting worse and worse because of weak men, weak-minded men. Because all they know is to control a woman, beat a woman, slap a woman, murder a woman. Now it's done went from guns to stabbing. And God is not playing. He's not calling that. That's why he's putting you in prison. You men that's watching this video, you men, you weak men, God is not calling you. That's why he's sending you to prison. God is giving the judge orders to send you life in prison for killing your wife, for killing your fiance. For killing your ex-girlfriend. God is not calling weak men. Strong men. Out there making it happen for themselves. Weak, I mean, excuse me. Strong men is out there making it happen for themselves. They family. If you got children by a woman. You ought to be. Thankful that she's being faithful to you. If you got five kids by a woman, or by your wife, why you want to kill her? God is not calling weak men. Weak men who go out and kill their wife, and you got four or five kids by her, and she's been faithful to you, and you feel like you got to kill her. You are a weak-minded man, and you need to get something done about your mental health. God is calling strong men who, get, who help their wife get that home, who take care of their children, who take care of their household. Okay? When the wedding vows say, to death do us apart, it doesn't say to I kill you and, and, and then death do us apart. So I have to kill you. No. To death do us apart. You stay married and faithful to that person. And then one of, one of you transcend. God is calling strong men. Anytime that you murder a woman and stab her to death, you're a weak man. Anytime. You pay your family member, your nephew, your uncle to help you kill your girlfriend or wife and put her body in a trash can, you're a weak man. And I guarantee God going to make you pay for it. He's going to give the judge orders to send you to prison for life. God is calling weak men. And right now, I'm excuse me, I'm making a mistake. God is calling strong men. God is calling strong men. And right now, 
It seems like we're getting weak men, weaker, 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 weaker men out here murdering women. Once again, Naz don't went from guns to knives. You ladies out there, you better start doing background checks and checking these men background. I've told women time and time and time again. Quit getting with these men and you don't know they pass. Try to find what as much as you can before you even date this man. Before you even date him. You're not doing your research. Some of you ladies out there, you're not doing your research. And you just messing with anything. You just messing with any type of man. Just, just, you know, you got to see the mask behind him. And you're going to see that. You got to do your research, ladies. This video, God is looking for strong men. He's not looking for weak men. He's not looking for men, weak men. To sit up on a woman every day. He's not looking for weak men that need a babysitter. That need a woman to babysit him. Or he trying to babysit a woman. You need to be out there making it happen for yourself. You men out there. Instead of killing a woman and killing your baby's mother. Killing your ex-wife or whatever and stuff. Because you ain't doing your job. You need to be building for yourself. You cannot build in prison. Life in prison, you can't build. All you're going to be doing is sleeping in a cell with another man. If any of y'all like this video, give it a thumbs up. Some of you men are probably going to be mad. Some of you men going to be mad. I've been busy. Y'all write my book. I am writing a book at this time and trying to get a website up and, and courses um, in place. Where I can kind of help you ladies and stuff with this domestic violence. Please spread the word. You ladies share this channel. Get somebody to watch it. And knowing y'all are queens. Every woman you know, is beautiful. No matter what your husband tell you. Your boyfriend tell you. Because he's wicked. Anytime a man puts you down. And try to knock you off your beauty. You are still beautiful in God's eyes. God is not looking for weak men. He's looking for strong soldiers to get out there and build. Get out there on stage, do public speaking. Build your own Instagram. Build something for yourself. I'm talking about you weak men. Instead of killing a woman and cutting her face up, stabbing her like y'all doing right now, you need to take your weakness and see a psychologist and see about your mental problem and try to get some psychological help. And a lot of you men out there need to be single. You don't need to have no woman right now in your life. Because you don't know how to treat her. You don't know how to treat no woman. No good woman. I've seen some of you men who's uh, got life in prison. or Some of you men that's on your way to prison right now. Or whoever watching this. Some of y'all had a prettiest wife. Prettiest fiance. And you can't wait to stab her all up in her face. You can't wait to stab her to death with a knife. You can't wait to burn her face up. You do all this wicked stuff because you got mama problems. A lot of you men got mama problems, sister problems, grandmama problems. Well, you need to take it to God and you need to seek you a counselor. You need to be by yourself. A lot of you abusive men out there, instead of being weak men, you need to be by yourself. You really do for right now. Because you don't know how to treat no good woman. You don't. And see what God is planning on doing? Soon as you kill that woman, he going to send you right to the penitentiary to be in another cell with a man. Think about that. You weak, dirty men. Who's paying your nephews. And you ladies need to be careful. Because the nephews and the uncles are dirty. When your husband do something to you. Sometimes they pay their nephews. Their cousins to help murder you. This is a domestic violence channel. 
If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I hope all you learned something from this. You weak man, I pray that you change into a strong man. God is looking for kings. He ain't looking for wimps. He's looking for kings. He's looking for a prince. He's looking for a man to put on his armor and go out there and build for himself. A king has his own house, has his own apartment, has his own uh, condominium. He's building something for that woman that comes in his life that God made. He's, he's, he's supposed to be building for the children, not help murdering the children, not taking a gun and killing a wife and killing all his children. You sound stupid. The stuff that y'all doing, some of you men out there doing, you're stupid and you're simple. Have a great day.